Hi, this is Claude. In this video, I want to tell you about inspiration capacity. So you breathe in, you breathe out. And this is the uh, volume of your lung when you breathe out. And this is the volume of lung when you breathe in. And here, y-axis is basically volume. And this is regular minimum lung size. This is the regular maximum lung size. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. But sometimes you can breathe in extra and you breathe in extra and you breathe out. So this normal size of air that can go into your lung from its normal minimum to normal maximum is the tidal volume. And this extra that you can take in is the inspiration reserve volume. It's reserved, but you can tap into that volume to take the air in. And together, this whole amount that for taking air in passively tidal volume driven by the elasticness of your lung and actively with your muscles with your force and that is the inspiration capacity you have the capacity to take in this much amount of air and just as you have this extra capacity to take air in you have the extra capacity to breathe out breathe out even more so this amount is the expiration reserve volume it's opposite of IRV but you notice that there's going to be small space, so here's zero liter, that no matter how much you forcefully breathe out with all your muscles, you cannot squeeze this amount of air out. And that is the residual volume. No matter what you do, you'll have this much residual volume. Maybe if you die and somebody takes out your lung and squeeze everything, roll it up, and take out this volume, but in general, you cannot tap into that volume. So forced maximum all the way down to force the minimum is gonna give you the vital capacity. When you're alive, this is the amount of air that you can control. If you add this residual volume to the vital capacity, you get this whole thing, and that is your total lung capacity. It's literally how much air can you uh, squeeze in with air pump into your lung. And if you add ERV to RV, that's going to give you everything from the normal minimum all the way down to zero. That is the functional residual capacity. This represents the amount of air that can physically be squeezed out after you uh, breathe out. So in summary, you breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Tidal volume amount moves in and out. You can breathe extra in, inspiration reserve volume. You can breathe extra out, the expiration reserve volume. And all the air that can come into your lung, either via elastic passive process or your muscle, is the inspiration capacity. And all this air that could be taken out, partly with your will, and this is impossible for you to take out, is the functional residual capacity. Finally, if you add the inspiration capacity, all the air can go in, and functional residual capacity, all the air that can be taken out, uh, you get the total lung capacity. Another way to think about it is you can tap into this much air vital capacity and if you add residual volume that you cannot tap into, you still get the total lung capacity.